What's up YouTube? This is Hussein from TechMan45 and I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to install custom firmware on your iDevice. The custom firmware I'm going to be featuring for this video is KeyCoCoCo95's custom firmware. It can be found on the White Door forums. Here is a topic on the White Door forums and here are the first couple versions of his custom firmware. The latest version can be found on his Twitter and you just have to scroll down a bit and you'll find it soon. Download my firmware and yeah. So let's get started. First, you plug in your iDevice. Okay, I've just plugged it in and let's get started from here um yeah this is the techmen 45's wallpaper that I've just that I've created and yeah it's not the greatest but it's a wallpaper okay I have plugged it in and I can show you on iTunes that it is plugged in once iTunes loads if it loads that is iTunes is a very slow program it takes up a lot of memory okay you can see that my device is plugged in I recommend backing up and transferring purchases and all that stuff before you start okay first we open up iRev once the firmware is installed once the firmware is downloaded credits to I hate snow for this amazing utility okay to get started you just click on your device I'm using an iPhone 3G so I will click that Okay, now it goes up into the DFU helper and just follow its instructions. So press both the power and the home button for 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then release the power button, but keep holding the home button for just about 10 15 seconds. And let the iREV do its work. Okay. Now it's just uploading the stuff, and soon enough, your device will go into DFU mode. Now Arab comes up with this. It says, your device is now in a pwn DFU state, black screen. You may now launch iTunes and do shift plus restore to restore to a custom firmware. Okay, that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. Open up iTunes. slow iTunes coming up again first video for the channel the iTunes have given a message that says I that the iPhone is in recovery mode okay so we're going to the iPhone now you hold shift the shift button on your keyboard and then click restore then it will uh, bring up a browse menu to search for the firmware that you want to restore to so I'm, I've saved it here and I'll open it now iTunes will extract the software and install the firmware so I'll just show you just a bit of how it goes and then I'll pause the video and come back Okay, I'll pause the video right about now. Okay, so now the iPhone is almost restored and it's about to finish its stuff. 
I would also like to bring your attention to one of my friends from the White Door forums. His username is Dizzy, and I've been talking with him for quite a while. He is an amazing developer. He made this NS Center, which is a notification center for White Door slash Red Door, and it's stunning. This is just one of his apps. It's, yeah. Another uh, thing that he's been working on is Lime Cydia, which is supposed to be a much faster Cydia alternative. It's has been fake code signed and ha it's had some problems getting uh, working, but this is how it looks like in in future updates. I would really love to see this thing. Um, yeah, it it's amazing. I really can't wait for this. So I suggest you follow him on Twitter, which is Booby Dizzy Dizzy. And yeah, he's amazing. One of my close friends from the white door. Okay. The iPhone is almost restored. And I really can't wait for this. Really want to test out this firmware. Big thanks to KikoKoko95 for letting me test this out. And here we are. Your iTunes has been restored to factory settings. And it is restarting. Please leave your iPhone connected. And yeah. I really want to try this out. And I suggest you guys try it out too. And yeah. That's about it. Thanks for watching guys. Hope to see you next time. Bye.